Hi everyone, this is Terry, and I'm recording part of a series for the background fields. It's part of a multi-part series for PE Design 11. If you want to create your own background field, choose Option, Programmable Stitch Creator. And when you go into the Programmable Stitch Creator, you can actually create a fill for a stamp. You can create a new motif pattern or you can create a decorative fill and I, that's what I want to create. You want to draw a line and when you draw the line any place that you click on your screen with this line is going to create a, a, a design. I'll double click and you can see what that design looks like. It's not something that I would want on a fill and you notice that this line does not match. It does not have to be a closed shape, but you need to think about it for your machine because your machine will be stitching this out. So it will be cutting threads and tying off. What I want to do is to uh, select this and to delete it. So I'll draw uh, a box around it and I'll just choose delete. Let's start again, drawing a line, and this time I want to think a little bit about how I'm doing it. So I'll start here and I'll click, 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 and double click. Now it may not be perfect and I, I might want to move my points and I'll do that in a moment because I want to go on and uh, create the other part of this design. I'll click, 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 and double click, 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 click and double click. Let's choose select points and any place that you see two points means that that design is not meeting. So what I want to do is to select one of those points and drag it to the center of the grid line so I have a singular point. And the same is true here. I have some problems. I want to do the same thing If you happen to create another point, just go ahead and don't worry about it. You can delete a point. I now have a, a singular point there. And I have a singular point here, although it looks like my line's not matching. So I can choose zoom. And let's move this point. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. I've created a design. I can create something inside of it as well if I wanted to. Um, but let's just keep this simple. We'll, we'll create something in the inside of this just so you can see that you can add other designs to it. And if you're satisfied with that, double click. It's far from perfect. Um, let's edit it. Select the points. And let's move this down a little bit and move this point up. And we'll just call that done for a day. So I'll choose select and I'm happy with it. So now I want to save it, and to save it, there's an icon here that's save, and this gives me a chance to name it. I've already created a couple of decorative fills. You can see here, Terry Decorative Fill 1 and 2. We'll just call this Terry DF03, and 
one of the things I wanted to mention to you is the default size. Right now the default size for this is 100 millimeters and I'll create save. Now let's go back and close this. We'll take up a shape and it can be, let's choose this flower and enlarge it. Actually, this is an embroidery design like the other exercises. I'll move it to the center and now I'll go into background fills, decorative fills, click the background, choose next, and open the folder. Scroll down, choose the design I just created, choose OK, and this is what it would look like at 3.94 inches. I actually like that. I'm surprised it looks that good. I'll choose OK. And then I want to save it. And we'll put flower decorative fill. And save. So I hope this helps you um, creating your own decorative fills. One thing I would suggest is getting out uh, some grid paper and sketching out a design. I really think that it would make it easier for you to do that. And I have no idea how this is going to stitch out on the machine. When I do stitch this out, I'll let you know about it. Thanks. Enjoy your evening.